This video is related to iMac Mailer, a mass mailing software made by FK Solutions. Today we're gonna be talking about uh, why sending may fail and how to fix it. Let's start sending and see what happens. Sending fails. The most obvious reason why sending fails is incorrect SMTP settings. If incorrect SMTP settings are used, the program will likely generate a connection failed error and will abort. In case of wrong SMTP settings, you will also get zero successful recipients and uh, you will likely won't receive any faulty recipients either. At this point, you will need to contact your email provider and uh, ask them for the correct SMTP settings and then uh, go to Preferences and check those settings and correct the issue. You may also want to delete this account from the list and uh, add it anew. Why we want that? Because this wizard uh, checks your settings when you enter them and it corrects port and SSL TLS settings automatically. And this is uh, the place where you can very likely to make an error. Let's say I enter uh, incorrect port number and uh, SSL settings and I press the continue button and the program verifies it and corrects it if we go back now we can see that encryption was reset and uh, another port number was used so the program corrected this the only thing the program cannot correct is if you make a, mis a mistake uh, while entering the host and even if you hit continue the program just doesn't know what is the right host for your SMTP server and it cannot connect it and this is the reason why you see this uh, error box it also checks user ID and password if incorrect user ID and password or password is entered and if you hit continue it also validates it and uh, it will give you an error as you can see it shows you that uh, invalid username or invalid password is specified Now it's validated and everything is fine. So you really want to delete this account and add it from the beginning to make sure that you do enter correct SMTP settings. Now I will intentionally mess up with uh, authentication and will intentionally enter here and correct user ID to demonstrate you what happens if uh, your settings do not have correct uh, authentication settings once we hit send the program will also abort in a while 
and uh, <clears throat> you will also see this dialog box that sending failed and uh, there will be zero successful recipient and uh, probably zero faulty recipients and um, the error will be authentication failed and it definitely points to that fact that authentication settings, either user ID or password, is wrong. Another thing uh, I want to mention is uh, failure management and uh, wrong SMTP settings. Let's go to preferences. And uh, let's go to the throttling tab and let's enable failure management. You know if failure management is enabled, the program, uh, if it fails, it won't fail right away. It will uh, be trying to send every 10 minutes in this case, and uh, it will fail only after 60 unsuccessful attempts. We enable it and uh, let's see what happens. We hit send. And wait until it fails. It failed. And uh, because we have problem with authentication, the program doesn't even try to connect more times to be able to send successfully. It knows that authentication settings are wrong and it aborts right away. But what if uh, authentication settings are right but uh, server settings are wrong? Let's start sending and see what happens. The program tries to connect and it fails. And as you can see here, it's paused for throttling. It means that the program is now waiting for 10 minutes and then it will make another try. And it will be doing so 60 times. And uh, you will be sitting here looking at this box and thinking what the hell is going on. And uh, if you always see that program, program switches uh, to the throttling mode and if you cancel after several tries you should definitely pay attention to those numbers on this uh, dialog box when you break sending. If you see zero successful recipients and uh, zero faulty recipients. It, it definitely means that uh, your SMTP settings are wrong. Now let's investigate what happens if internet connection fails. I'm gonna start sending now. And uh, we're now seeing that um, the program sends emails and I'm gonna unplug my uh, internet cable to simulate uh, in internet connection failure and uh, let's see what happens okay internet connection finally failed and um, again we should check this dialog box which says that sending failed and uh, it actually shows us that connection failed and uh, check this out we see some successful recipients and it definitely means that connection failed not because of the wrong SMTP setting but because it just failed now I want to direct your attention to one confusing thing at this moment my computer is unplugged from the internet and it means there is no internet connection at the moment and if in this case I start sending, 
it will fail right away. And after it fails, if you check this uh, dialog box, you will see that the number of successful recipients is zero, as well as uh, faulty recipients are also zero. And it looks very confusing because uh, it might remind you that uh, the actual problem uh, is uh, wrong SMTP settings, but that's not the case. This is the reason why I always uh, recommend to check internet connection before you start sending. For instance, you can uh, try to check your emails or uh, open a website and make sure that connection is really fine. Now, let's go back to preferences and uh, let's see what happens in this case if we enable failure management and to save some time I set a pause to one minute and if failure management is on the program should, uh, should be reconnecting many many times if uh, connection fails and once the connection is back to normal it's gonna continue sending and I wish to demonstrate it to you I start sending and remember our connection is at the moment is down and it tries to connect now and it fails and uh, it starts to throttle now I'm gonna return my internet connection back I'm plugging in my cable and see what happens now the program reconnects and it can successfully send messages it tells us now that uh, sending completed its, is, that sending completed successfully now the last thing to mention most of email providers apply hourly and daily limits uh, on the number of messages you can send uh, per hour or per day and if you hit this limit the program will definitely abort and if uh, failure management is enabled it will be in a constant uh, throttling mode until uh, your server lets you send more messages let's take a look how it looks like we start sending and the program starts to send messages now let's say you hit the limit and the program will uh, stop sending and it will switch to the throttling mode and uh, it will be retrying it will make several attempts to connect to the server as you can see now and uh, it will be doing so until uh, your hourly limit is lifted by your provider or daily limit and uh, once you are allowed to send more messages the program will be able to do so and it will finish sending or uh, will send another patch if you encounter this behavior when the program uh, starts sending and on aborts falls into the throttling mode stays there for an hour or so then reconnects, sends another batch and fails again don't contact us regarding this issue this issue is not related to iMac mailer contact your email provider instead and ask them to increase your hourly or daily limit or maybe you wish to switch to a different email provider which gives you a greater limit or you can also use a number of email accounts here in the outgoing settings in the account list you can add all your free email accounts here and uh, you will get a better limit because every account will add something to the total limit and this is it that was a overview of sending errors thanks for listening